there, how are you? Um, I have a funky little speed build here today for you. Um, but before we jump into that, I wanted to say um, a quick thank you to all the new subscribers. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, um, there's been a bit of a spike in people following me here on YouTube, which is really awesome. Um, you all seem to really love the last video, uh, my incredible mansion based on the Incredibles 2 um, house. Uh, it came out really well and you guys seem to be loving it. And you have to get a few comments and things, which has been really nice. Um, if you are new here and you want to keep up with the content coming out, then I would love if you do subscribe. Um, and you can also follow me. You can find me on all my socials. I'll pop a link in for my link tree. Um, I've been posting a bit on Twitter. Um, and you can find my gallery on there too, for my, my link for the EA gallery. So you can find me all the houses to download. Um, Anyway, let's head into the speed build and I'll show you what we've got for today. So with this build, it was a little bit out of the blue. Um, I use Canva for all my graphics, like I make my thumbnails and my logo and um, etc. on there. Um, and they have a lot of um, inbuilt AI um, things. So I was playing around with the, the AI to, to text, uh, sorry, AI text to image generator and playing around with a few different house ideas um, and I'll, I'll pop an insert of um, what I came up with on there and then that was the, the basis of the inspiration for this. Um, I just thought it was pretty cool um, being so dark but having the pops of colour um, glowing throughout um, and it's not like anything I've built before. Um, I like to change it up a bit and um, yeah there's not really a theme that I've been keeping with on this channel so why not throw it out there. Um, AI just seems to be everywhere now. It's like exploded. Like I remember when chat GPT sort of like I first heard about it and I just was like, wow, this is crazy. But now like um, my phone broke and I had to get a new phone. Um, and I got uh, the new, uh, one of the new Samsung phones and there's so much like AI built into it, like with the, uh, the photo editing and um, like even texts and yeah, yeah, it's really blown up. Um, but it's been fun playing around with um, getting different inspiration for for house builds for The Sims. Um, so let me let me know if you want to see a video on, on how I do that and the process of that. Um, but yeah, so for this one, um, I was really inspired after I seen this picture. I'm like, that's really cool. Can I do that in The Sims? And then I, uh, the more I was thinking about it, I was like, yeah, there's this um, lots of different bits and pieces that we can use throughout the house that glow in the dark um, as such like the, the colors really pop so I thought give that a go um, and then as I was building it I was thinking you know maybe it could be a bar or a nightclub because um, it was really giving off those like dancey vibes um, and in the end I decided to to make it a house, um, but it's quite small. Um, there's only one bedroom on the top floor. Uh, so in the end, I thought, you know, I'd make it into a little bit of a bachelor pad. <laughs> so yeah, I was just imagining that, you know, the person that lives here you know, ends up being a guy and I was thinking maybe he's like a music producer and he's got a bit of a pretty wacky style and he's a bit like sort of mid-tier music producer. So sort of like a little mini, mini exotic house. <laughs> um, it's the other thing, some of the design throughout this house in the interior is a little bit wacky. Some of the choices, it's a bit weird. Um, and I guess sort of ironically, I would hate to live there <laughs> when I built it. Uh, there's just too many colors and uh, themes and it's a bit in, in your face and you know, I just imagine it would be noisy all the time and too much light. Um, I prefer it to be a lot more subdued, but yeah, no, that was just the theme we went, were going with. So it was fun to, to play around with. Um, so I'm just going through now and figuring out the different floors. I knew that I wanted um, to have three different floors. I was trying to figure out where I can fit uh, the windows in so that we, they can be they're kind of random, but they kind of match. Um, so this is the second floor where I just squeezed in a little um, half bath. And then on the top floor, there's a full bathroom 
um, and I opened up that a little bit so that it's a bit of a uh, peer through down into the second floor. Um, it looks a bit boring here, but as we get going, like the colors do get a bit crazy. <laughs> Um, and I, I didn't realize like even these doors, they have like glowing pieces on them. There's so many bits and pieces in the Sims that have that effect on them. Um, and I went through and, and found a lot of them and put them in this build. Because there wasn't a lot of room, I went with um, a ladder for the top floor, which again, it just kind of suits the weird kooky vibes of this place. Um, I mean, it, it would be cool to maybe stay there for a night, but yeah, I definitely would not live there. Um, I was just going through and lining the, the outsides here of the property, trying to give it a bit of a border and give it its own little space. Uh, yeah, some of that's placeholder, like those fences and stuff you know, that get changed to the glass. And even this glass changes because the, the blue didn't suit. Uh, so going through now and um, just darkening down all the textures because I wanted it to have um, that really dark black vibe so that the colors would really pop. Um, I guess the other thing I could have done was made everything white and the colors would have still sort of had that effect, but um, I just sort of challenged myself to stick to the um, inspiration pick as much as I could. Um, and in the end, I sort of matched the back of the house to sort of look uh, similar to that, to where the um, inspiration picture came in. Um, and, and we have little sections that glow along the edges. so. I do utilize those stairs. I think they're from Get Famous. Um, like there's literally no other build where I would use those or that I have used those, uh, but they come in handy here. We're just going through now and yeah, changing all the textures to try and um, find a black that matches. I fitted with different um, textures for the walls on the inside because I wanted something that was reflective um, so that you know the more reflections from the light that we get through be not really cool and really really suit it um, but in the end I we've only got a couple that sort of woodwork and this one I think suited the place the most uh, we just used half walls around the edges there as a fence uh, I do end up opening up the back piece in the end uh, it's a little tip for when you're using platforms you can do a little half wall around it if you want to change the texture because I wasn't happy with they don't give you a lot of options um, for the platforms. Again, this that fence is from Get Famous, and it yeah, it matched the vibes perfectly. But yeah, I've never used it anywhere before. This is me struggling. I had to cut so much so much of this out. I was struggling so much trying to get the roof, the ceilings to work. Um, and actually, I don't know that I got them to work in the end, but I did my best. It's that weird glitchy thing where it won't cover the whole ceiling. If you guys know how to fix that, let me know. Um, but at this point that like the, the outside is starting to get there. It's starting to look a little bit um, for how, how I wanted it. Uh, just working on the front now. I wanted this entryway to have more, I like the pond at the front so you get more of that reflection happening with the, the pinks reflecting from the house into the blues. Um, I think they really complement each other. Your Sims can't actually walk along those stepping stones, so I left a, a patch along the edge where they can walk along, so it's just sort of there for effect, but they can still actually get in and out. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately they can't walk along there. Just going through now and working on the, some of the textures on the inside. Such a hard balance because I wanted it to be dark and moody, but like not too dark that it was unplayable. Um, to some of these textures we change in the end, but I do keep the marble tiles on the floor because I really like, it just felt really like high-end um, and I wanted sort of a high-end feel, but yeah, you will see, especially the bedroom, it's probably definitely borderline a bit tacky, <laughs> some of the choices in there. Um, but this, I love it at night time when it's like reflecting on the pool. Um, and yeah, I put this in the, the snowy escapes world because so it kind of felt a little bit sort of Japanesey inspired, um, but not that it matches anything around it. It definitely sticks out a bit, um, but this was sort of the best spot I found where it 
fit in a little bit. Um, I, I really wanted to include this fountain into the pool. And I just lowered it with the, the tool mod so it looks like it's part of the pool. I'm back inside now, popping in some, these are just temporary lights so we can see what we're doing. And then I changed the color of them to get an idea. So again, in that inspiration image, the inside of the building glows like orange. So we've kind of got pink accents on the outside and then blue on the outside of the building. And then in the landscaping and exterior, there is blue accents. And then I wanted to trickle little bits and pieces throughout to try and bring it all together. Um, so this was me going through and just finding a little bit of inspiration and um, marking out what I wanted each room to be. So um, lots of spots. It's a real party house. So at the back, there's a few little spots to sit, um, chill with people, um, have your sims around for a pool party or um, yeah, just to entertain. There's lots of little entertaining areas. So we fit in a spa, um, a few little cool seating areas and some lounging areas. Uh, on the ground floor, we go through and there's a dining and the kitchen. And the second floor is um, like a bar and seating area. And a, um, there is a toilet on that level. And then the third floor is gonna be uh, the bedroom and a main bath. Yeah, here I am again going through and finding bits and pieces. I thought it was really cool to have a, a glowing wall and I thought I could, that little section there was a bit awkward so I thought I'll put a shelf in there but again it's cool to have the glowing from in behind. Yeah, I really wanted to include that bath from, what is a luxury party pack? It's like one of the first packs that came out for The Sims, um, which is a long time ago now. And again, it's one that, you know, I never really have a chance to use it. Uh, these are the little pool, pool floor lights, um, but they worked really well as just lining these little areas. Um, it gives it that extra little pop so that there's little defined areas, but they still fit in the theme. Again, I did it on the bottom. I had a bit of trouble with the lights in the pool along the edge. They just weren't showing up. I did a bit of a test build before I did this and they worked fine. I was starting to get aggravated and like, why won't they work? Um, so that, yeah, that other light that's sticking out of the pool there, that was me testing it to see if maybe I could use that and use the tool mod to flip it around. But that was just such a mission. So I gave up on that, but then eventually the lights do work. Yeah, there we go. Because having that little edge trim around the pool, I think is really effective. So I really wanted to have it and I was really disappointed and I thought it wasn't going to work. Um, but yeah, we got it to work. And then the second really painful thing was then changing the color of all the lights. So when you, uh, so I have the um, better build and buy mod installed. And when you have that installed, you can Whilst you're in build mode, you can hold down shift. And if you click on a light, it brings up the options for changing the lights. So you can change the dimness, the brightness, um, and you can choose the different colors in there. Um, and there's options in there. You can change just one light. You can change the whole room. Um, but because these outside parts um, are connected to the lights that are on the house or on the top floor, I did a trim around the outside. And I wanted the pool lights to be this gray blue color and the house is obviously the pinky magenta color. Um, I had to go through it individually to each light, which was painful, but I think in the end looked good. I think anyway, you'll have to let me know if you agree. Um, but here I am just defining the areas outside. I've got the spa down there and a little lounge area to the left. Uh, we squeeze some more lounge areas to the right um, and I also put in a DJ um, deck eventually because I thought yeah that's definitely definitely the vibe to this place. Um, this, the cubes also the glowing cubes also came with the same pack that that glowing bar came from and they look really cool but it would be 
better if you could choose the colors. They come with certain swatches, but they're not like a light where you can click on it and use the color wheel. Um, so some of the pinks um, don't match exactly, but we do what we can in The Sims and I think it, it does come pretty well. So yeah, it's definitely coming together at this point. Um, it's definitely hitting the vibe that I was thinking. And it was just more about, yeah, trying to make it work with the little the sections that I created. Don't know what that little pause was, must have been looking for something. Um, the interior, the kitchen is quite simple. I thought this person isn't going to be spending a lot of their time cooking. Um, we do order takeout. We ordered pizza um, for the screenshots and it got dumped at the front door. So there's a section you'll see at the end where everybody, um, I organized a, a pool party and everybody at the end just congregated around the front door. <laughs> this little huddle eating pizza. Like, oh my gosh, the Sims are so funky sometimes. At one point I was thinking here, I was thinking, oh, we could maybe just get away with a little toast oven because they don't cook much, but then it just wasn't sitting right. So I thought, oh, I'll put, it really should have a full oven. That way it's more versatile. Uh, we put in a little mini dishwasher. Uh, and then, yeah, a little range hood. I snuck in the fire alarm in behind there. So don't worry, there's a fire alarm. Uh, I wanted more, more glowing strips under here. So tedious going through one at a time, changing them all, but yeah. And they stick to the wall, so I was going to try and put them under the benches as well, but that just wasn't going to work. On this other side, I use, it's the, is it the Max to Decor kit those pieces came through with on the wall? I'm not quite sure at the moment. Um, but yeah, did a glowing wall. The dining room again is quite simple. So it's more of an entertainment area where people would sit and have a chat. Um, or, you know, gather around while seating takeout, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I went for a sort of ultra modern funky vibe. They've obviously collected different bits and pieces from different places um, and then put it all together to have this weird sort of yeah, party house vibe. Uh, that little section there, I was a bit stuck with what to put in that area because the, the kitchen was quite small and I had that big open spot. I thought, oh, I really should, didn't want to over clutter it. I wanted it to be kind of minimal and sleek. Whereas the next floor gets a bit crazy, but uh, I thought, no, I need to put something in there. So I went for that side table um, which becomes sort of a side table where you come and throw your keys and your phone on and, and your shoes and stuff and you which would you know obviously usually be at the front door but you know maybe this guy comes in the back door a lot um but yeah i put a few little bits and pieces there that he would use on a daily basis so he's, he's got his cap and then i'm going th going through and trying to find another bits and pieces yeah the phone the keys and yeah just make it a bit more lived in and then looking for something to Put on the wall at the back there and i thought yes definitely they would have samurai swords for sure um, it's a total it's like a bachelor pad but like a bachelor that has too much money and just buys stupid shit no no offense if your house looks like this it would be cool but I, i'm not cool enough to live in a place like that <laughs> um so this is the the second floor or the first floor um and I just wanted a cool place to lounge out and to have the, include the, the glowing bar. Um, and I wanted to soften the textures a bit. So that's why I put this, this leather lounge in with the um, sort of cow print cushions. But definitely a weird mix of, of design, but I think it works um, in a strange way. Kind of works as random, but that's kind of where this went. <laughs> um, again, another little rug piece there just to soften it up a bit and break up the big massive tiles a bit. And then going through and just finding weird sort of funky collectible things that, that he's gathered on his travels. Uh, so we put in that skeleton and then this weird 
gargoyle horse thing. <laughs> don't know what that is. <laughs> and then trying to find something to fit in that corner. And yeah, in the end I um, turn it into some built-in shelves. Yeah, I thought, oh, I could put another glowing cube in there. But as if it's not glowing enough, I would have a headache instantly walking in this place. Um, so I can get my build here. Uh, in the end, I put this little display cabinet up there and I thought they might be some collector's pieces that he's obviously picked up. Um, and then a little bit of clutter. I didn't go too far with the clutter because it is kind of crazy with the design. So I, I wanted to keep it sort of minimalism, but it's also a little bit over the top. <laughs> the bedroom is definitely the kookiest room. <laughs> um, I went for a mirror piece on the floor as like a, uh, instead of a rug. Obviously we can't have a mirror on the roof because that would block your view and you wouldn't be able to see or would be very user friendly. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go weird and put a mirror on the floor, um, which yeah, we're not going to go there, but I don't know, it worked with the design. Kooky little couches and I really love this standing mirror. I think that's from the high school pack. Um, again, love that it glows and just all the pops of colors. It feels, it definitely feels like a nightclub in this place. Um, all the little dresser, I just went for minimal as well. Um, and he obviously would travel a lot. So I thought, yeah, we, we need to fit in a little suitcase there, which fitted perfectly in that little spot. Um, squeezing in some lights there just to get a bit more of that orangey color popping on that side. Yeah, a few little plants throughout the house just to bring a bit of life in. This is the weirdest part, this mannequin that I put in and I dressed it up. I'm not even gonna go there. It's just weird and I thought it fits the vibes. You'll see it a bit later on. It's strange. You would not want it watching you sleep. <laughs> but <laughs> it's so dumb and I'm laughing at my own joke, but is what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel the spots were a little bit, bit too dim, so I put in some small lights. Um, I love that light sort of size down, and then you put it down closer to the floor. Um, I learned that from Eden, whose channel is uh, Devin Bumpkin. He does that a lot, and it's a really neat idea. So I've taken inspiration from him there. Uh, into the main bathroom now and again it has to have a bit of a weird like a strong layout um, and I, as i was building it i realized oh i haven't i want the bathtub in the middle so that when you have a bath you can just look out to the view um and i do put curtains in there eventually don't worry um but then i also want to include a shower because i'm like if you're playing this house sometimes it's really annoying to only have a bath that was in the end I had that, that pillar in the middle of the room has a, a freestanding shower on it. Um, which again, a bit of a weird design choice, but it suits this place, I think. <laughs> um, it's kooky. It's definitely kooky. Um, but I think it works. You'll have to let me know if you agree. Um, some more mismatching lights in there to finish that off. It's so bright. It's so bright. Um, here we are now going through and just doing the final bits and pieces. Um, just the final touches, putting a few curtains up, uh, final little design pieces on some walls that just needed a bit more, a bit more love. Um, and I put a few uh, plants and pieces around. I don't know if I actually show it, but I did go around the outside on the balconies and put a few um, sitting areas because that would be a really cool spot to sit and look out from. There we go, putting in some a little bit of privacy so it's not like so open with those massive windows. Uh, oh yeah, popping in the DJ set. Uh, and then yeah, finishing off the front here. So I wanted it to be closed in at the front. So it's a little bit more private down on the, the front area. Going through now and trying to decide what, 
what um, fence I want. I ended up staying with that one. I had a few issues here trying to where the um, platforms meet the edge. I couldn't put the fence up to it, so I had to get a bit creative and how we block it off. Now finishing up the exterior here with a few more hedges just to bring it all together. Um, this is up on the gallery now. I'll pop a, a link in the description to my uh, uh, EA gallery uh, link, what I'm trying to say. So you can download it if you want to. Uh, the I will note the start of the video and the end I have stylized a bit for YouTube, so it's obviously not going to look like that in your game. Um, but I think I th think it still looks pretty cool. Um, I love, as I said, all the reflections in the pool um, and the different tones. It would absolutely be hell to live here, but <laughs> it's it's cool and it's something that you can do in The Sims. Um, yeah, so doing the final little bits and pieces here and then that's the last touches and then we'll head into the little tour. Um, but yeah, hope you like the build. Let me know what you think. Would you live here <laughs> in the party house? Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.